Welcome back to the channel guys, Slav Squad here. Today's video is actually a, subscri a subscriber video. It's not really a subscriber requested video, it's more of a of subscriber recommendation. So, one of the last videos, I'll have it linked up, up here, you guys can watch if you want to see the top speed of this uh, Piranha YX140 engine. And we got a total of 49 miles an hour. One of the subscribers said if I changed out the sprocket on the front to a 17, which is what I got here, 17 tooth for 28 chain. And uh, if I change out the rear sprocket to, uh, I think he said a 33, I couldn't find a 33, but I did find a 35. And the numbers have to match, uh, has to be even or odd numbers, that I would go about 70 miles an hour. Whether I'll go that fast or not, I don't know. It's a huge jump from 49 miles an hour to seven to 70 miles an hour, but we're gonna find out. So far, as far as I've seen, is if you change the front sprocket to be bigger, you can gain about five, six miles per hour. And uh, we're gonna try to change them out one at a time and see how much we can get. We've already taken the wheel off the bike because I popped my tire. As you can see, this is from one of our last video, the stem completely ripped off. So as I have the wheel off, I am gonna change this sprocket out first. And this is originally a 40, I think a 49. I'm gonna count again and I'll have it written down over here. But I'm gonna change this out first and we're gonna see how much of a difference in miles in top speed will just making this sprocket smaller be. And then I'm gonna change this one out if my chain will let it because my chain is kind of small. So if it doesn't let me, then I'm gonna have to change them both out at the same time, and then it should fit. If not, I have to go buy a new chain. So let's get started. These are 12 inch nut our bolts. I'm gonna bend these out first. Now I'm going to have to adjust the rear all over again. Okay, put this guy on. Here's the difference. It's much bigger. 17 tooth and this one is a 15 tooth. So after carefully examining things, it's not the sprocket that's the problem. It's the chain. I thought this was a 428 chain, but apparently it's not. It's not working on the front or the rear so i'm gonna go pick up a new chain and get that going all right so we just picked ourselves up a 28 chain this one should work it's a bit bigger so should be good to go let's throw this on real quick boom oh good to go spinning freely let's put this cover on and let's go get a top speed run for y'all all right guys, so here's the final test. As you guys saw from before, we got a 17 tooth sprocket in the front and we got 35 in the back. So 17 front, 35 in the back. Let's see what the real difference is. As you saw in our last video, completely stock, 49 miles an hour, full throttle holding it for a little while. So now, How much of a difference does the both front and rear sprocket add? So let's find out. We'll do a top speed on the way there and on the way back we'll do zero, the top speed.
first gear all the way to fourth stopping out let's see the difference stock and by everything stock I mean it had a 15 I believe tooth in the front and in the back it had a 39 tooth so we went to a 17 tooth in the front and we did a um, 35 tooth in the back and the difference is pretty surprising when it comes to power or top end when it comes to top end it gained 11 miles per hour as you guys saw and uh, when it comes to the zero to 60, since it went 60 is full speed, the difference, not really that much, to be honest. Like, I didn't feel that, that huge power loss or anything like that. The 140 still has plenty of torque, and honestly, it'll be way better for me because I'm gonna be putting street tires on it. I wanna do more uh, stunts, more wheelies, and things like that. And that longer gearing is gonna be very helpful, and you can definitely, definitely notice there's longer gears and there's a lot more there and that is super awesome so thanks to the guy who uh, wrote down in my comments to put the 17 in the front 33 in the back fortunately I couldn't find a 33 and uh, yeah thanks to that guy because now I have a bike that's 11 miles per hour faster which is pretty freaking cool because I was always like man trying to shift again like where's that fifth gear so did it work yes it worked very well and I'm very, very happy with the result. And guys, it's so easy. Like, I mean, the parts are like, I paid like 10 bucks for one of the sprockets and maybe like 25 for the other to gain that much. That's such a good investment, in my opinion. And the work that it took to get it on there is like nothing, especially if you do the front. Based off my research, if you just do the front and you put a 17 in the front, you'll gain about five, six miles per hour based off of some of the other videos that I watched and things like that. And if you put another one, put the back one on, that's another five miles per hour roughly. And it depends on the motor that you have and everything. So, guys, if you have a 125 and maybe you're riding with the 150s or you have a 140, you're riding with the, you know, bigger bikes that are faster, that have more top end, dude, this is like the simplest little trick that you can do. It's so cheap. And I've knew about this for a while. I just never really did it until some the one of the subscribers uh, wrote down in the comments so that's pretty awesome and uh, yeah I hope this video helps you guys and it inspires you to go get yourself another sprocket and make your bike go faster and I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day thanks for the love for everybody that's been uh, you know commenting and uh, engaging and uh, you know sticking around so thanks for everybody that's stuck around this far and I will see you guys in the next video.